Hello viewers, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I want to show you this very affordable True RMS Auto Ranging Multimeter that I recently got as an extra multimeter to use in the garage. This one I have here is made by the company Mestech. It has a large 2.17 inch LCD display. You can use a multimeter to check DC voltage, AC voltage, capacitance, resistance, for example, testing a resistor. You can also check a diode or LED. Basically, there are a lot of stuff you can do with a multimeter. And the prices of these multimeters have gone down tremendously compared to 10, 15, 20 years ago. You can get this Mestech DM91 multimeter on Amazon for $27. Let me open this up and I'll show you what the multimeter looks like. Now when you get this new, you do have to remove the back cover and install the two batteries that come with it. Also comes with a screwdriver for you to remove that cover. This multimeter is a good size with a large LCD at the top. Now we'll connect the test probe. Connect the black to COM for common. Red is your positive. Now at the end of these probes, you can actually remove this outer insulator that you see right here. Same thing for the negative probe. It also comes with these two test clamps. If you want to use it, remove this portion of the test probe. Then you stick the test probe into the back of the clamp. These can be very handy if you're testing wires and you can clamp this directly onto the wire instead of using one hand to hold a wire and use the other hand to hold a probe. Let's have a quick look around the multimeter to get you familiar. At the very top are three LEDs. This will light up when you're testing NCV or non-contact voltage. It will also light up for continuity test and also live wire indicator. Below that is a large 2.17 inch LCD display. Over here is a selection button. So depending on what you're testing, some of these tests allow you to select different functions. Next is a range button. Over here is a frequency button and the flashlight button. This button over here is a hold button to hold the data and it's also the button you use to turn on the backlight. In the middle is a function selection knob. Right now it's in the off position. So for example, if you want to measure voltage, turn this dial to the V right here. And let's say if you want to turn on the backlight, press and hold this button right here. There it tells you we're measuring DC voltage. If you want to measure AC voltage, press this blue button right here. Now we're measuring AC voltage. If you want to turn on the flashlight at the top right here, press and hold this button. Now the flashlight is on. Press and hold this button and the flashlight will turn off. Now let me show you how the auto ranging work on this Mestech multimeter. Now this multimeter on the left side is not auto ranging. That's why if you look at the voltage measurement here, it's zero to six volt. The next one is six volt to 60 volt. Then the next one is up to 600 volt. So you have to manually tell the multimeter what range of voltage you're measuring. Whereas on the Mestech, it's auto ranging, so it's only one selection. So on this non-auto ranging multimeter, right now it's set to 6 volt as a maximum. Right now both multimeters are connected to my power supply and it's measuring DC voltage. I'm going to increase the voltage output of the power supply and you'll see a difference between the display of these two multimeters. The non-auto ranging multimeter will stop displaying a value past 6 volts. So I've set my multimeter to 7.5 volt DC. As you can see, this multimeter cannot give you a display because we've passed the six volt range. Now if I switch this to the next higher range, now it can read the 7.5 volt. But on a Mestech multimeter with auto ranging, it'll continue to read the voltage. If you want to test LED, set the function knob to the dial selection, place a test probe on each lead of the LED, And here you see the forward voltage is 1.826 volt. Now you can also use this dial testing function to test continuity. If I short these two probes together, you see the LED at the top will light up and also it'll give you the resistance measurement. If you want to measure the resistance like this resistor here, set the dial to the ohm symbol right here. In my hand I have a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor. Place a probe on each side of the resistor. 
and it measures 3.25 kilo ohm. We can also use this multimeter to measure capacitance. In my hand are two 100 microfarad capacitors. Here's a close-up look. Next to the ohm symbol is the capacitor symbol. Press a blue button so you can switch it over to capacitance measurement. Take the negative probe and connect it to the negative side of the capacitor. Connect the positive probe to the other side of the capacitor. Now make sure the capacitor is discharged when you do this test. And this capacitor measures 102.4 microfarad. If you want to test AC voltage, turn the selection knob to V for voltage. Now press a blue selection button, change it from DC to AC measurement. Take your test probe, and I'm going to stick it into this power strip that you see right here. And you see it's now measuring 119 volt AC. In North America, the AC voltage has a frequency of 60 Hz because AC is a sine wave. If you want to measure the frequency, press a Hz button right here. And now it's measuring the frequency. Press a Hz button again. Now it's measuring the AC voltage. You can also use a single probe to test for live AC voltage. Turn the selection knob to live. I'm going to stick this into the power strip. And you'll see the top LED will illuminate. Also the word live will show. This multimeter also has NCV test mode or non-contact voltage test mode. At the front of the multimeter is a sensor. When this gets close to live AC voltage, it will sound an audible alert. And also it will tell you on the display that there's live AC nearby. To use this mode, turn the selection knob to NCV. I'm going to place a sensor next to this power strip. You see the LED illuminate. And the display have the letter L for live voltage. Now if you do a lot of automotive installs like car alarms, car stereos, fog lights, you definitely need a multimeter to test all your wires and safely install it and troubleshoot it. As a quick example, I can measure the voltage on this battery. I've set the multimeter to the voltage reading and it's set to DC. As you can see, the DC voltage on this battery is 12.51 volts. Or perhaps I want to test this grounding bolt and see if it's really grounded to the battery. I'll set this multimeter to the resistance measurement. Put one probe on the bolts, another probe on the negative terminal of the battery. As you can see, it's measuring 0 0.9 ohm. So it's less than one ohm, so it's a pretty good ground. Now you can also do a continuity test. This will give you a quick visual and audible alert. Now obviously there are still additional features on this multimeter that I did not go over in this video, like measuring current draw. There are also two selections here to test 9 volt batteries and 1.5 volt batteries. But I want to highlight some of the main features of how you would typically use a multimeter. And with this Mestec DM91A, costing only $27, there's really no reason for you to not have a multimeter if you want to get into automotive installs or doing some basic troubleshooting. I can tell you often I get emails from my viewers asking about installing reverse cameras or backup sensor. How can they test the factory backup wire without a multimeter? And my response to them is always get a multimeter. Because there are so many uses you have with a multimeter, in my opinion, it's definitely a must have if you like working on your car. Now, if you want to get one for yourself, I will include the link in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section. And remember to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.